Hi everybody, this is Shri Malik from Dotsway.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create an EC2 instance in Amazon Cloud. In case you don't know what EC2, EC2 is a web service from Amazon Web Services which provides a virtual service in a cloud. Okay, first sign in to the Amazon Web Services and if you don't have an account yet you can create a free tier one which is gonna give you a lot of free features like 750 hours for the server the same for the DB server and about 2 gigs of storage okay after you log in you can search for EC2 or if it's there in the main console just click on it and to launch the instance you can click on create instance here or you can go to the instances tab and then just click on instances here you're gonna find all the list for all the servers that you have next launch the instance and you're gonna have all the information for the most popular images that are available most of the ones on the top they are the free tier ones and the ones which are not included in the free tier you're not gonna find that text reading free tier so that's for the quick start for the my MI, this one it has all the private MIs that was created by you for you know any server that you've created before and you did a lot of notifications you can take a snapshot or create an image so you can later you know create a server from it for the AWS marketplace this is like an online store where you can buy software that runs on AWS and it has a lot of MIs which has all those kind of software for the community MI that one is the AWS community member that have made available all the MIs that are available for you so you can search here for the Linux flavor or the Microsoft flavor you can filter it from there that's it so we're gonna create a free tier red hat right now by the way from the uh, top right side you can see that the uh, the region we are creating the instance in so for example the one we are using at the moment it's in North Virginia you have different regions and if you create an instance or any service in certain region and then you log in and you change to uh, another region you're not gonna see that service over there so they are separate okay let us select the red hat version 7 now for the instance type you can select you know the, the hardware configuration the size of the instance the memory the number of virtual CPUs anything that you need and for the free tier ones I believe it's it's only gonna be that T2 micro so we're gonna choose this one and we go next to the configuration instance details then from that window you can choose the number of instances or servers that you want to create or launch because this can be part of the auto scaling group if you don't have an idea about what is auto scaling group it's simply a group of instances that you can run and you put some policy which gonna start an instance or shut down an instance based on some certain rules like the CPU consumption the memory usage or anything like that or the load the traffic whatever you can put the spot instance it's a kind of pur purchasing option that you can ask whenever an instance is there or available you get it for a special price or a decreased price but this means like it's not gonna be always available and most of the times I, I believe this won't work with the free tier this one is the virtual private clouds 
which you can create you know or you use the default one and from here you can choose the subnet and beside the subnet you can see that there are different zones so we are in the northern Virginia region and there are several zones or data centers inside that region and here it's asking you if it's gonna auto assign the uh, public IP or you just enable it or disable it in case you want it to be in a, in a private network for the IM role it, it means like you can create the N instance with a certain role in general I can give like a quick example you can create a role which has an access to a database and then you attach that role to that N instance so then that N instance can have access to that database for the sh shutdown behavior you can choose like whenever you shut down it's gonna stop it or just terminate it for that protection it's it means like as it says like it's gonna protect you from doing any uh, termination for the uh, N instance by accident or from an API or by developers you know from the CLI enabling CloudWatch detailed monitoring that it means it's gonna monitor that server every one minute uh, instead of five minutes for that tenancy by default that virtual machine is shared so you can choose dedicated instead of shared let's go next for that one you can attach or create several storages and by default this one is the that SDA it's 10 gigs and it's SSD you can check it to IOPS which has like provisions uh, IOPS which is very good whenever you are using um, a hosted database in that instance Here you can create some tags for the server so can later on you can search for it so you can say like the environment this is staging and you can put like this is the um, application and you call it like dot sway application and inside the security group that's one layer of the security group like the firewall and using this one you can not attach either an existed one or you create a new one so for now we're gonna leave only the SSH since it's uh, for testing purpose here we are reviewing everything that we've chosen chosen and then let's launch it if you don't have a key or you didn't create a key before just create a key if you have already a key uh, for example I have already a key for testing so I'm using this one if you don't know how to create a key or how to convert a PPM key I'm sorry PM key to PPK in the Windows you can check the description you're gonna find another tutorial for that okay now we are launching and it's gonna take some time so I'm gonna pause the video now okay now it's ready and you're gonna find down there the IP the public IP that you're gonna use I'm using putty to uh, connect so just open that putty thing and place the IP in the session and by default the um, AWS they are using a username called EC2 hyphen user add the IP then go to the SSH and inside the app choose the created PPK file that's it we're now connected and that is the th server if you have any questions just let me know if you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much.